Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. Alaikum salam, Brother Zain. How are you today? Fine, I guess. Hey, and where's Yusuf? He's shopping. I know it's surprising. Yusuf shopping? That is quite shocking, actually. Aisha, what's the matter? You look a little sad today. It's these children at school. They're teasing me about my hijab. Well, what's wrong with your hijab? It looks pretty good. Well, it's not that. They say that I wear hijab because I have no hair underneath. Oh, my. Is that why you wear the hijab? Because I know sometimes I wear this hat because I don't have any hair underneath. No, that's not the reason. I wear hijab because I love it and I'm proud of being a Muslim. Well, then, there you go. That's your answer. You know, it doesn't matter what other people may think or may even say. Even sometimes it might be nasty. But we should always believe in who we are. And if you're proud to wear your hijab and you're proud to be a Muslim, then that's all that matters. But it's not nice that you are being teased all the time. Sometimes it makes me feel a little sad and sometimes it makes me feel mad. Oh, I can imagine that. But you know, they say empty vessels make the most noise. You know, the people who don't know much about other cultures and other faiths, they're the ones generally are always making the most noise and probably saying nasty things. But you know, the important thing is that you are sure of who you are and what you believe in. You know, there's no compulsion in religion. For example, we cannot force somebody else to see our point of view. But the important thing is that we respect the other person for their opinion, but also that they respect what we believe in. And I think what makes it difficult at the moment is that you may respect them, but they're not showing respect to what you believe in. And that can be difficult. But I think if you show a little patience and maybe use this as an opportunity, it might be a good thing. So you mean them teasing me is a good thing? Well, in a way, if, for example, if they ask you, Aisha, why do you wear the hijab? It gives you a great opportunity to speak to them and explain to them what Islam is all about, what being a Muslim is all about, and why you wear the hijab. And you can go into other aspects of your faith. Now, let's say they didn't ask you that question, you may not get the opportunity to talk to them about it. And that's what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said. We should try to give dawah with hikmah, with wisdom. So we should treat people gently. And the most important thing is to give them the message. It doesn't matter whether they choose to accept it. They may not even agree with you after you tell them. The most important thing is that you tell them and let them decide which option they choose. So I hope maybe that makes you feel a little better. That, yeah, people might tease us sometimes because we look different, because we dress differently. But the important thing is to be proud of who you are. And you know, talking about that, I think I have a song just to cheer you up. And that reminds me, my book of rhymes for struggling times. Let's find my songbook. Searching, searching, where do we find it? Looking, looking, high and low. Searching, searching, where do we find Zay's book of rhymes? Where did it go? Searching, searching, where do we find it? Looking, looking, high and low. Searching, searching, where do we find Zay's book of rhymes? Where did it go? Hey, look, I found it. That never happens. Oh, Aisha, let me find a song that will cheer you up. This is one of my favorite songs. It's called... Dini Islam. If you ask me, why do I stand here so unafraid of everything around me? Proudly, I would say, I am a Muslim. If you ask her, why does she dress that way, all covered up in a world that gives it all away? Proudly, she would say. I am a Muslim, 
دين الإسلام ديني ولا عرض بخير الدين محمد اللي حديني نور الإيمان دين الإسلام ديني ولا عرض بخير الدين محمد اللي حديني نور الإيمان If you ask me Surely this cannot be. You give your wealth so free, and you say your life is charity. It ain't hard to see. I am a Muslim. If you ask him, why does it hurt so when he sees injustice, even though it's folks he doesn't know? Tears in his eyes, he says, I am a Muslim. دين الإسلام ديني ولا عرض بخير الدين محمد اللي حديني نور الإيمان دين الإسلام ديني ولا عرض بخير الدين محمد اللي حديني نور الإيمان If you ask her why doesn't she cry There's no one by her side She's the only one that's left behind Patiently she says I am a Muslim If you ask him, why does he still pray five times a day when so many others have strayed? Smiling, he would say, I am a Muslim. دين الإسلام ديني ولا عرض بخير الدين محمد اللي حديني نور الإيمان دين الإسلام ديني ولا عرض بخير الدين محمد اللي حديني نور الإيمان If you ask me why do I love you no matter where you are we are the greatest ummah with the beating of our hearts we are Muslim لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله There's no God but Allah لا إله إلا الله محمد المصطفى محمد is his messenger لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله There's no God but Allah لا إله إلا الله محمد المصطفى محمد is his messenger لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله There's no God but Allah Does it make you feel a little better? Yeah Excellent You know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him When he came with the message He felt pretty much the same You know, people rejected him, people taunted him, people teased him People even said that he was crazy But the important thing is not what they said The important thing is what he knew in his heart and from the inspiration and revelation from Allah, then what he was doing was right. And that's sometimes difficult. But the most important thing is that we carry on and try to do our best. So you see, Aisha, you know, even the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he came with a message from Allah, and people teased him and taunted him, they even said that he was crazy. How could they? Because people sometimes, when you question what they believe in, they sometimes become quite nasty. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sure of his inspiration, his revelation from Allah. And he knew that he just had to continue and try his best. And that's the most important thing. I will try my best. I know you will, Aisha. I know you will. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. I've been shopping. Oh, very good. We just heard the news. I know. So what did you get? This is mine. How do you guys like it? Wow, so is there any special occasion that you're getting a new outfit? Well, there's this cultural event at my school next week, so I bought this. It's called the Distasha in Palestine. Oh, of course, that's what your heritage is. Excellent, and I'm so happy that you're proud of where you come from. So they call it Distasha in Palestine? Yep. Oh, I've heard so many names for that. I've heard Kurta and uh, Kantura. Yusuf, we were just talking, Aisha and I, earlier about always being proud of who you are, despite sometimes people making fun of you or thinking that you're a little different. Do people perhaps sometimes give you a hard time when you dress a little differently? Sometimes when there's cultural events at my school, I wear my distasha. But then they make fun of me. They're like, ooh, he's wearing a dress. But I don't care because I'm proud of being a Muslim. MashaAllah, that's very, very good. That's and exactly what I said. Yes, Aisha. And you know, I'm so happy when I see young Muslims like you guys, and I feel so confident about the future. 
And you know, if we all just take this responsibility of spreading the word, because it doesn't matter whether people accept it, and we should even respect people when they differ. And they say, you know what, we hear your message, but we don't agree with you. We say, Alhamdulillah, that's fine. The most important thing is that we remain true to ourselves and that we spread the message. And the best message to spread is the message of peace. We are the Muslim Ummah. And each day that goes by, the harder we try. In gratitude, we pray to Allah. Chosen is part of the best of mankind. We spread the word of Islam. Each minute, each hour, in awe of his power. Each flower, each tree, everything that we see. Spread the word, oh man, spread the word, Islam. Oh, fortunate one, paradise must be won. Each day and each night, through darkness and light, cry it out to the world, loud enough to be heard. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word, Islam. Every difficulty faced in our lives, Makes us realize that it's just part of our last plan. Feeling stronger, we take it in our stride. He will always favor the patient one while we spread the word of Islam. Every sigh said goodbye, every tear from my eye, every yes, every no, every high, every low. Spread the word, oh man. Spread the word, Islam. Oh, fortune and one. Paradise must be won. Each day and each night, through darkness and light. Cry it out to the world, loud enough to be heard. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word, Islam. Spread the word, oh man. Spread the word, Islam. Oh, fortune and one. Paradise must be won. Each day and each night, through darkness and light. Cry it out to the world, loud enough to be heard. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word, Islam. So Yusuf, how was your shopping experience? Well, I usually go and shop for toys and games and knickknacks, but this time I felt like a man shopping for my own clothes. Uh. Well, I think shopping has a big impact on you, Yusuf. I think so too, Aisha. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, brother Dawood. How are my vibrantly vivacious library pals today? Alhamdulillah. Okay, um, can you just tell me what's vivacious? Vivacious is kind of when you're uh, alive. Yeah. Vibrant. Vibrant. And vivacious. Vivacious. Anyway, so you seem in a spunky it's mood. Yeah, you know, I was just in my uh, little home studio working on this song that your son Rashid wrote. Wow, what an incredible song. I know, you know, when I saw the lyrics, I was like, he's only 16 years old, and mashallah, he wrote a really good song. That's what blew me away, too. I mean, to be so young, but to have so much passion for the things you believe in and the things that are important to you. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like when we get Rashid into the studio to sing his parts. Absolutely. And, you know, talking about young people and the struggles they face in but also how strong they can be. I was so proud of Aisha today, because Aisha told me she was having some struggles. Oh, no, Aisha, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Well, my, these kids at school, they say that I wear hijab because I have no hair under Well, it. it's hard when people don't understand why we do things or why we believe what we believe. Everybody in the world's got their own way of looking at life and has their own reasons for doing the things they do. Sometimes when we see something that's different than what we're used to, people get scared sometimes. They get nervous sometimes. They don't know how to react. So the easiest thing to do is just make fun of somebody. Maybe you could use this as a chance to really show them who you are, what you're made of, and what's important to you. You know, a lot of young people really struggle because they feel like other people don't understand them. Has there ever been a time when maybe your mom or your dad, or maybe even one of your teachers, didn't understand something that was really important to you? Well, a couple of times my teachers don't understand that I want to do this because I want to do it for somebody but they don't let me. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to, to help grown-ups understand what we really feel is important to us. And sometimes it's hard for us to even help our friends understand 
like you, Aisha, with your friends that don't understand your hijab. You know, Dawood, it's kind of like the song that Rashid wrote, really. Yeah. Go forward, young Muslims. Go forward, young Muslims, yeah. Would you guys like to hear the song? Yes, yes please. please! It's a new song written by a very young Muslim. I sometimes lie awake at night And wonder at the stars so bright I dream about my future too And the things that I will do Soon the world will count on me I'm the future they agree People depend on me somehow Though small and timid I am now oh. I, my dearest friend, must stand together till the end. For we are one by Allah's grace. No matter what our color or race, we must prepare ourselves today as we journey on life's way. There's so much for us to learn and see. For true believers, we must be. Yeah. Go forward, young Muslims, wherever you are, in the shadow of the sun or by the light of a star. Your supreme protector is Almighty Allah. Go forward, young Muslims, wherever you are. Go forward, young Muslims, we feel your pain. So many places, Palestine, people are dying, mothers are crying, bombs are falling from the sky, people are asking why. The only thing that we can do is pray to God to help them through, but do they realize that Allah hates those who kill and despise? I think there's no surprise. Gotta, gotta rise, rise up. up. Come, Come on, young, young Muslims, Muslims gotta, gotta rise up. up. Together we must stand in the masjid to pray pray for a better day a better way to make this world a better place because let's face it it's out of control we need to grab hold of each other unite as one ummah like back in the days of the companions of the prophet some were young they were strong and they loved each other brothers and sisters and they could die for one another so stand up young muslims say it out loud it's time to be counted right here right now yeah right here and right now Oh Allah, we love you so, give us help and make us grow, be with us each passing day as we journey on life's way, on life's way, on life's way, on life's way. Muslims gotta rise up, come on young Muslims, gotta rise up, come on young Muslims, rise up, come on young Muslims, gotta rise up, come on young Muslims, oh Allah we love you so, give us health and make us grow, be with us each passing day, while we journey on life's way, on life's way. Allah. Do you like the new song? Yeah. Man, it's so amazing. And I hope it inspires young people such as yourselves to always stand tall and be proud of who you are. You know, Zane, sometimes it's easier said than done, though. There's a lot of things we do when we follow the Quran which are private, between just us and Allah, like praying Salah or fasting in Ramadan or even giving charity in secret. But for young ladies like you, Aisha, hijab can be a real struggle sometimes. Yeah. Because everywhere you go, people see your hijab, and then they can make judgments about you or have expectations of you. My wife tells me sometimes that when she goes to the mosque, she sees some women come in who don't wear hijab all the time. And oftentimes, people will put them down or make fun of them and say that they're not good Muslims. And that same person might come back another time with a hijab, and everyone will say, wow, that sister is really pious. Because sometimes, even within our own community, we make judgments on each other. So try not to let those judgments get you down. When people who don't understand your faith make fun of you because you wear hijab, try and explain to them why it's so important to you. You know, there's a song I wrote one time all about hijab. It goes like this. They say, oh, poor girl, you're so beautiful, you know. It's a shame that you cover up your beauty so. She just smiles and graciously responds reassuringly. This beauty that I have is just a simple part of me. 
This body that I have, no stranger has the right to see. These long clothes, the shawl I wear, ensure my modesty. Faith is far less fickle than fashion. Wouldn't you agree, this hijab, this mark of piety? is an act of faith, a symbol for all the world to see. It's a simple cloth to preserve your dignity. So lift the veil from your heart to see the heart of purity. They tell her, girl, don't you know this is the West and you are free. You don't need to be oppressed, ashamed of your femininity. She just shakes her head and she speaks with a surety. See the billboards and the magazines that line the checkout aisles with their phony painted faces and their airbrushed smiles. Well, their small clothes and low-cut gowns, they are really not for me. Some people call it fashion, but I think it's all crazy, cause this hijab, this mark of piety, is an act of faith, a symbol for all the world to see. It's a simple cloth to preserve your dignity. So lift the veil from your heart to see the heart of purity. They tell her, sister of belief, you are so strong. This scarf is a flag of this faith where you belong. She just drops her gaze and then says with humility, I did not wear this shawl at all less than one week ago. I've been judged, misjudged, and misunderstood by those who do not know that faith cannot be measured by the garments that you sew. Beauty and faith objects we've reduced to a fashion show in this hijab. This mark of piety is an act of faith, a symbol for all the world to see. It's a simple cloth to preserve your dignity. So lift the veil from your heart to see the heart of purity. Lift the veil from your heart to see the heart of purity. When will we lift the veils from our hearts to seek the heart of purity? That was a nice song. Well, thanks, Aisha, but I didn't write that one all on my own. You see, uh, I'm not a woman, and I'm not a young lady who wears hijab, so I got a really good friend of mine to help me write it. And she's a wonderful writer. And you know what? Just like Rashid, she was really young when she wrote that song. I think she was only 17. You guys, I hope you're feeling better, Aisha. And Yusuf, I hope you do well tomorrow at Cultural Day and show everybody your new dish, Dasha. And make sure you don't show them the dress. <laughs> the dress. Okay, assalamu alaikum, children. Assalamu alaikum. I love my child. <laughs> We choose to be Muslim, we follow the Quran, we say and Abu, we're enjoying Islam in the special library. So much to learn, so much to see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Choose to be Muslim, we follow the Quran, we say.